Determine the final temperature of the steam in Celsius. And we also want to show that for a closed system, the boundary work and the change in internal energy can be combined into one term. Okay, so our net energy is equal to our change in energy for our system. So we can set Q minus W equal to our change in work, our change in energy, plus, and our kinetic energy and potential energy go to zero. So we get Q minus work other minus WB is equal to U2 minus U1. WB, since we have a constant pressure, or since we have a constant pressure process, WB is equal to P naught V2 minus V1. So this expression changes to Q minus W other minus P naught V2 minus V1 is equal to U2 minus U1. But P naught is equal to P2, which is equal to P1. So Q minus work other is equal to U2 plus P2 V2 minus U1 plus P1 V1. But also H is equal to U plus PV. So this expression becomes Q minus work other is equal to H2 minus H1. Now for question B, we'd like to find the final temperature. So the only other form of work is electrical work. Electrical work is equal to VL times delta T. So we multiply our 120 volts times 0.2 amps, uh, this is VI, times 300 seconds, times one kilojoule per second divided by 1000 VA. So our electrical work is 7.2 kilojoules. In our state one, P1 is equal to 300 kPa. And so from our table, H1 is equal to H at 300 kPa, which is 2724.9 kilojoules per kilogram. Now we have work E in minus Q out minus WB is equal to delta U. And so we can plug in work E minus Q equal to delta H, which is just M H2 minus H1. So we have 7.2 kilojoules minus 3.7 kilojoules equal to 0 0.025 kilograms H2 minus 2724.9. And so our H2 is 2864.9 kilojoules per kilogram. Now our final state is specified since we know the temperature, I mean the enthalpy and the pressure. So we have our H2 and we know P2 is 300 kPa. So from our table, we find T2 is equal to 200 degrees Celsius.